Well, I camped last night in this lovely tent. See? All me wet clothes. And me mess inside. Went out look at the bike. It's so filthy. Um, I've got to adjust the clutch up because it's a bit loose. It slips a little bit. It's a job for Ron, later on. I can need a coffee first. It's one I prepared earlier. <sighs> Cappuccino, made in me tent with one of these. I'm now living under an awning, or under a, I don't know, a villa. I'm living under a villa. So I started to pack up, and started flogging down rain, so I just dragged it all under here. So, I got it all underneath, <laughs> underneath someone's floor. It's still raining, it looks like it's gonna rain for a bit longer, so I might just sit here for a while. Fuck, what a start to this Cape York part. What I, what I found is a few fellas this morning have come over and said hello and it's um they've all sort of said oh you're doing it hard on a bike but these have all got four wheel drives with you know, like big inverters and they've got all the gear and they've got good sleeping arrangements with awnings and um, caravans four wheel drive camper things I don't know how. I could do. I could be doing it a hell of a lot harder than this if I was stripped like down to a, a lot less than a lot of motorbike riders ride around with the camping. I'd be really struggling. But the tent went well over there. She went pretty good. The sleeping bag was really good, but the um, the self-inflated mattress is shit. I need to buy a good one of them if I'm going to live in it long term. As for everything else, cooking a coffee, all that crap, that was all right this morning. But yeah, I wonder how long I'm going to sit here for. It's the Lion's Den Hotel, everyone. We'll take you inside. And I was absolutely rooted yesterday after doing the <laughs> fucking thing. There's the bike now. Have a go at it. <laughs> I'm still cranky about my camera though. Look at this place everyone. Absolutely amazing pub. Public and Carl here. Just out the front taking photos of the bike. He's gonna put it up on his Facebook page and stuff. I'll show you around. Look at this stuff on the roof. Yeah. They all think it's amazing that I actually got here through the dirt. But what you can do here, you can write your name up on the wall. Everyone leaves their, their stuff, some hats, whatever. All their things. Here's the the bar area. So I've got to get a text up, and I'm going to write my name on the wall somewhere. I don't know where yet.
Yeah, so this is the that's the bar area. Look at that. Don't forget the knickknack shop. Yeah, I'll go in the knickknack shop. We'll have a look in here. So you can get all your little bits and pieces in here. Oh, cool. Oh, sorry. I don't know what I said sorry for. I just tripped over the fucking stand. But yeah, all your knickknacks, all your bits and pieces. <laughs> I bought a sticker. Didn't buy that one. I did the, that one. I might buy that too. Because I bought this one over here, wherever it is. That one there. So I'll get myself this sticker. Because I did it. I did it in the wet. I remember yesterday I changed out an SD card from one of the cameras. And I don't know which one. I don't know. I haven't looked. So I'm hoping that it's the camera that I lost. Look at that. This is Carl. Say hello, Carl. How are you, mate? How are you guys? <laughs> this guy's um, a lunatic. <laughs> but a good lunatic. <laughs> anyway, we're going to hit the road. We'll get out of here. As I said, I'm fucking spewing about that camera. But they're going to ring me if the camera turns up here. Left me number. So we'll get on the road and we'll go. I might go and have a quick look in Cooktown. 25 k's in, 25 k's out. Well, it takes an hour. I'll go and have a look. Just stopped in here at Cooktown, met these cool people. They're going up to um, Cape York as well, but they're going up some track from Cooktown up to Laura. And, and, and I've had enough fun already in the dirt for yesterday, so apparently it's pretty bad. And the weather, as you can see, starting to blow a gale. So I want to get up there and I don't know. I'll see how we go.
Mine's not that dirty yet, but soon enough it will be. <laughs> Fuck. What have I got myself into? I started there yesterday and went up, up here, Cape Tribulation, up to there, and uh, there somewhere, Lions, I think that's it, somewhere there, Lions Den Hotel, that's where I stayed yesterday. Last night, woke up there this morning, had a quick look in Cooktown, not much in Cooktown, went there, and now I'm there apparently and I've still got to get up there so that's a long way I just was at the um or in general store. They're the people there really nice. But why do people seem to want to tell me? And this is not the first time I've had a fair few people tell me that, oh, you know, there's roadworks up there. Oh, you know, it's dirt. Oh, oh you're struggling to get through. You'll struggle to get through. Like, yeah, mate, I know. You think I'm dumb. Some people seem to want to watch you fail more than encourage you to keep going or do they just think that they're going to try and save me. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, well I made it to Han River Roadhouse, there. I'll go inside now and see if I can um, get a room, oh not a room, get an unpowered site for the night. I think it's like 10 bucks. So I just got myself a site for the night, $10, they have a shower, dunny and stuff inside kitchen's open till 7.30 or something and they shut the shop at 9 o'clock. 
go camp down the, the back there somewhere. I don't know. Down there. Fucking over it. Ugh. I need a shower. Camped early. Four o'clock. I think I'm going to have buy dinner tonight because I just can't be bothered. And I've seen they had crumb steak and chips. 22 bucks. So I think that's the go today. Anyway. That's me for the day. I'll see you tomorrow, guys.